Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Layer Tech Industries. There's Denstrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. For convenience sake, I'm going to introduce four characters rather than the usual three. And I hope you guys enjoy the information that I'll introduce to you guys, you know? Here's the first character. Green. Real name, inapplicable. Height and weight, Varied. Status anti-hero in Greenian's founder. Base Greenius Mobile. Intelligence three and a half brains. Behavior. Tough, flirtatious, and snarky. She'll do anything to win. Lethality. Highly deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses. She hates being underestimated. Powers. She has great strength. Wields a variety of ancient weapons, mass alteration, and possesses an unnaturally large gut. She's also a hermaphrodite, capable of budding an entire civilization in hours. Eyes, bright green. Hair, blackish green. Origin. One time, Gigantica, who is the founder in owner of Zieletech Labs, a notable enemy of Gymoscoricus, who is the uh, queen of the Gynarmicans, just so you know. Sorry. One time, Gigantica decided to make another creature for a new plan for world conquest. After a time, Gigantica made a green-skinned Amazonian warrior alongside having an unintended side effect that gave her an enormous abdomen. She then commanded the newly named Green to destroy Washington, D.C. until she was defeated by the daughter of her own creator, Humonga, who is literally the heroic daughter of Gigantica. After her first defeat, 
Green was explained by Humonga about personal choice, and finally stopped serving Gigantica. Recently, Green asked Gaia, the mother of all planets, to make her a planet for her to rule. After the planet was born and named Greenius, Green created her own species to rule over, known since as the Greenians. I just hope it's not much of a hassle for Gigantica, you know? On your guys' behalf, at least. Costume. She wears a bluish leather unitard with solid spikes. Teams, solitary, rules over the Greenians and other heroes. Original inspiration, mutant Amazons. Here is the next character, just so you know. And I just hope that I make this comprehensible for you guys. G-Bot. Real name, Gala. Height and weight varied. Status villain and Cosmic Corps member. Base, Cosmic Slayer Mobile. Intelligence, five brains. Behavior, sneaky and relentless. She'll do anything to serve Cosmic. Lethality. It's not in her coordinates to ever surrender. Weaknesses. She hates being torn to pieces along with having her coordinates go berserk. She has a bad habit of drinking oil. Powers. She could be any size her master wants her to be. She wields a built-in taser as strong as 50 bolts of lightning. She also has a healing factor, brutal strength, a computer tracking system, and a high intellect. Eyes grayish blue, hair light blonde in a short bob. Origin One time, Cosmic decided to make another servant in another attempt to destroy the innocents. Just so you know, Cosmic is the master of the universal dimensions. Just so you know. She constructed a metallic meteorite that crash landed in the central park of the New York City of the default Earth. After the impact, it transformed into a 10-foot tall, partially off-screen blonde woman. Soon, Gala went to the closest large and lovely clothing store, brutally killed the store's owner, and stole a blue two-piece suit. Eventually, G-Bot managed rampaged across New York until getting torn up by Iron, who is basically uh, the the late wife of an inventor who was resurrected by having her soul in a robot body, basically. After being restored by her master, G-Bot is still urging to follow all her commands. Costume. She wears two-piece suits in a variety of colors. Team Solitary works for Cosmic and other villains. Source of inspiration, Space Androids. Here is the third character, so we're halfway done, and I really hope I'm making things work. Zrinky. Real name, Dr. Tina Malloy. Height, 5 feet 10 inches, weight 162 pounds. Status, anti-hero and ally of bomb. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, intellectual and snarky. She'd do anything to help bomb. Lethality, only in terms of size. Weaknesses, her powers don't work on herself. Powers. She has the ability to instantly shrink anything in her surroundings, from a few inches shorter to subatomic. She also possesses a high intellect, alongside being good at hiding. Eyes, lime green, glasses, hair, reddish-orange, in a braid. Origin Dr. Tina Malloy was a genetics doctor who had a fascination with genetic mass. One day, she injected herself with a serum that infused her with the power to shrink any object in her sight. Getting prideful in the process, Tina shrunk and killed her stubborn boss and went to steal all the banks in the city. However, when Bomb, who is basically the daughter of Colossa, arrived to stop her, Zrinki shrunk her to six inches. Luckily, 
Bomb expanded back to her normal size and shrank Tina down to four inches. Eventually, Zrinki begged to Bomb not to kill her, and Bomb gave Tina a second chance. Since then, Zrinki was known to be an ally with Bomb, along with doing all that she could to avoid upsetting her. Costume. She dresses in laboratory clothes. Team Solitary with Bomb and other heroes. Original Inspiration. Mass Alteration. Here's the final character. Just so you know. Kiss. Real name, Rosemary Thorne. Height, 5 feet 10.5 inches. Weight, 142 pounds. Status, villain, an expert seductress. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty and lovely. She enjoys using her beauty as a weapon. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses, she has no healing factor. Powers, she possesses corrosive lips that could dissolve anything. She wields a pair of handheld sickles that can boomerang back. She also has martial arts and emits pheromones that could attract both genders. Eyes deep green, hair blackish red. Origin Rosemary Thorne was a woman who wanted to be noticed. One day, she was invited by the villainess Gigantica to be experimented on. After the transformation, she developed green toxic lips and other notable powers. After being given her sickles, Kiss went, went rampant after kissing Blader Tech Tower, making it crumble. Eventually, Madame Shear got help from Dagger in Fear, who is basically like Dagger has the ability to sprout metallic spikes any part of her body. Fear has the power to emit fear gas, which is a hallucinogenic chemical based on people's phobias. So Madame Shear got help from Dagger and Fear to defeat Kiss. Eventually, Fear used her fear gas on Kiss to make her hallucinate that she was unbearably hideous. However, Kiss eventually had her condition removed by Tyranitar, the trademark enemy of Madame Shear, who hired her as a new part of the Sinful Six. Costume. She wears a variety of green latex clothes. Teams, solitary, with the Sinful Six or other villains. Source of inspiration, DC's Rose and Thorn. Well, those are the four characters, and I really hope I made it worth it for you guys, you know? So, yeah. Tomorrow, um, on the 23rd, as far as I know, is my mom's birthday, so happy birthday when the time is nigh. And, um, yeah, I, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want, like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. I'm just trying to make things work far as I know, at least. Yeah, um, I'm trying to make better progress for my board game, but of course I don't want to rush it or anything. And at the same time, I don't want to procrastinate. It's a paradoxical thing. So I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such. Until next time, in transmission.